Oh my, oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, this is just not, it just melted everything. Look at that, that looks ridiculous. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rani Chantel and welcome. First video of the year. I am so excited to show you guys what I have to show you today. It's been trending all over the Stanley Tumblr 40 ounce. Yes, with the handle, I got one. Yes, so I, of course I had to get some accessories to go along with it and show you guys how to, you can make your own DIY pouch and name tag. I don't know if you guys can there you go. So going on a walk with your kids, going to the park, like at the gym, you put your phone, your gum, anything you want in here, hand sanitizer. Like, tell me that's not cute. Tell me that's not cute. It's cute. So I got the cosmic thing going on here and um, as well up, up top. But wait, wait, you guys can't see that yet. You're going to see how it's made first. Subscribe to my channel because I am one. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is the items you need to complete this project. Off of Amazon, I found these sublimation pouches. It's like fanny packs for your um, Stanley Tumblr. So you can sublimate on this side. Probably not gonna do this side, but we'll see. But um, you can sublimate both sides of the pouch. And we're also going to be making name tag or name plates. So. It comes in a pack of, I believe it was like 50. Put it in this nice container that I got from Hobby Lobby. So we will try to make three today. You will also need sublimation paper. I'm going to be using the Hippo brand. And lastly, a sublimation printer. So I'm also using the Hippo brand sublimation ink. This is by far not sponsored by the way, but I like their stuff. Um, so far, they haven't did me wrong, so I'm gonna keep using them, and I can get them off Amazon, you know. <laughs> I get everything off Amazon. So, uh, I'll link this down below as well. And the printer I will be using is the EcoTank ET2400. I had converted this into a sublimation, which I do have a video on, so I'll link it up at the top somewhere so you guys can see how you can convert this printer. I love this thing. I had this for about a year now. Hasn't clogged up or anything. So yeah, so that is the printer we're gonna be using. Programs I'm gonna be using. Um, I found some images off of. So I found some images off of Creative Fabrica and um, I'm gonna be using a couple templates from Etsy that um, is just gonna make this process easier so you don't have to measure anything. I mean, you could if you want, but I run a business, so I want to like grab and drop, grab and drop, grab and drop. So I found some cool templates that we're going to try out as well as Canva. So those three websites or programs that I use to complete this project. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. Believe it or not, I have not tried to, I have not tried to, um, this will be my first time submitting on this pouch and on the nameplates. I just decided you guys need a video at this point. <laughs> so let's do this together and let's see how well we do. And um, I do have a Stanley cup as well. Got the 40 ounce, um, got the 40 ounce Stanley tumbler. Got the cool accessories, got the little R my sister gifted me for Christmas and um, the little like topper. It's on top. Let me get it on here. There we go. Sits on top like that. It's so cute. And then the nameplate will just fit right. Should, oh, it, it fits through the straw and then it'll sit right in the middle. So that'll look cool. Then the pouch wraps around the cup. And yeah, it's gonna be nice. So sit back, grab a notebook, order your uh, sublimation blanks on Amazon, and try this with me. All right, y'all, catch y'all in the next clip. I literally just clocked out of work, so <laughs> uh, you might hear my kid running upstairs. He's having a ball. There was no school today. Today's President's Day. So 
we're gonna rock this out, y'all. You wanna see what he's doing? Let's go see what he's doing. Let's go see. There's gonna be a uh, tutorial slash slash vlog. I told my crew that you're gonna be running around up here. Can you keep it down, sir? <laughs> Can you keep it down, sir? <laughs> <sighs> Alright you guys, we are in Canva right now, as you see. Um, so I got this template off of Etsy, uh, name tag templates for your Stanley cups. So as you see, it comes with all these templates, all sorts of colors, um, so many colors. And then you can like put your name on it like I did here and uh, or put whatever, you know, whatever you want in here. And then also the coolest thing about it, like this is the image I added on there, but you can drag and drop and whatever image you have that you want on there, like this butterfly, that looks so cute add that on there or I have this uh, like comic style you can add that on there um, which we're gonna utilize so I'm just gonna drag and drop um, but yeah as you see, let me show you all the colors I got some browns and tans got some flower ones so cute got this like bubbly pink purple colors um, more cute colors, like this uh, camouflage look, and more and more and more and more and more. Like I can go all the way down. I think this file cost about three dollars. It wasn't a lot, and this is for uh, I think this is for a different type of nameplate. And this is just uh, if you wanted to measure it or something. Um, but yeah. So that is cool. I think I'm gonna use like the top page as my drag and drop, but keep the other ones. Cause these colors, you know, they're cute, but I mean, I don't wanna sacrifice any of the other styles. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to make three. I'm gonna waste some paper, some ink and stuff, but that's okay. I wanna do that. That you know, I think I want to grab one of these down here. Let's see if I can copy and paste. I'm like, let's do. Let's do this one. See. I'm gonna delete this. Oh, okay. Oh no. Let's see. We're just gonna replace it. I'll figure that part out later. We're gonna do that. So I got the cute golden black butterflies, the uh, comic style, and this like cute plaid. And I think this plaid one, I'm gonna, I think I'll put my name on all of these just to try. Of course, I'm gonna change the color. All right, next we're gonna be moving on to the sublimation pouches. So uh, again, I got I found another template on Etsy where you just drag and drop your image that you want on your pouch. And hopefully this template fits what I need without me having to measure or redoing it. So we're gonna see. So we are again in Canva. 
Um, let me refresh because I already uploaded some stuff. Okay, perfect. So, um, my dad, my daughter's a track star, so FYI. <laughs> All right, so again, I still got the comic theme and the black and gold, so we're gonna do like this marble one. So like this, you just drag and drop. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just drag and drop. And I'm not gonna do the back because it's gonna be, you know, on the um, standing club. I mean, it'll look cool. I mean, I guess, let me see. Okay, for the sake of video, we're gonna do both sides. Let's do both sides. We'll do that. And then let's do a comic one. That looks cool. I thought this would be perfect to see if my, you know, I haven't used my printer in quite a minute. So <laughs> I wanna see how these colors look um, for my printer. So you know what, let's do the butterfly since we're gonna have that nameplate. Let's do the butterflies for that one. And we're gonna do the comic one for the other one. And then I will just do two for today. Two pouches and three nameplates today. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, while we're in this file, we're gonna go ahead and hit the share button. Download, and I'm gonna do PDF print. I like to choose uh, CMYK for professional printing. And I don't wanna do all three pages, this is the top two. And again, I'll link this uh, Etsy shop down below. Um, I mean, you guys can measure as well. You don't have to purchase Etsy files. I just like to personally do it because you know, I like, I like easy, <laughs> I like simple. <laughs> so um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done and download. And we're gonna do the same for the nameplates and we're gonna meet you at the heat press. All right, you guys, we are out of the screen sharing, but um, I'm about to print this. Uh, so I already have my settings set. I also have a video on my um, color profile. I will link that down below or up top somewhere. So we're gonna go ahead and print this. I'm gonna go to my dialog. And like I said, I already got something set, so it's already gonna be mirrored. It's gonna have my color profiles. Um, so we're gonna pick that and go ahead and print. All right, now's a good time to get your heat press heated up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on. And I'm going to sublimate these at 385 for 60 seconds. So, uh, let's up some. All right. So we got that set. Um, I don't know if you saw me, but. But yeah, it's heating up. 385 for the temp and for 60 seconds. All right, you guys, so we have our first printout. Gonna see, hopefully, it looks like it's gonna fit it all. We're gonna go ahead and open the strap to the pouch. And just put this right over, and it looks perfect to me. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side. Don't forget, you guys, we're doing this together. We are learning together. So I'm going to be careful and cut this in down the middle.
and then probably put this put this right on top like so what you guys think i think it's gonna work <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that there put this here And I almost feel like you don't have to really tape it. Just be careful. Because there's nowhere for me to really tape it. Right? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna try it like that. Yeah, let's try it like that. And then with the pressure of the heat press. It should be hopefully fine. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Make sure my pressure's good. Okay. Alright, we got the black and gold one done. Just see that looks good. It's gonna be pretty. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it in half. Go for the best. Placing this on top, all sides are covered. And we're gonna place this one on top. That looks so pretty, I cannot wait to see this. We're gonna place this on top. I think that looks good. That way we can get a, we'll do one at a time. So that way we'll get all the heat on the front and then we'll flip it, put the image on it and then press the back. I think that sounds like a plan. So I'm gonna get my parchment paper ready. I mean, quick tip, I feel like we can tape it down just for extra safety. I'll show you guys. I'll probably tape it onto the parchment paper. Just for that extra security. like that. Grab another sheet of parchment. Heat press is almost ready so I'll come back once it's heated up. All right you all so the heat press is at 385. We got our paper taped down to, to the uh, parchment paper just for extra safety and we got a parchment paper on top. So we're gonna heat press this for 60 seconds and we're gonna see how this goes. First time. Hopefully, so we're gonna loosen this pressure a little bit. A little bit more. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> I hope this comes out nice. All right, grab your heat gloves and let's see what this looks like. That was enough pressure. <laughs> All right. 
all right it doesn't smell too great but uh let's let's see let's see what this is looking like So nervous. <laughs> All right, you guys, ready? Ooh, it looks like it melted on the. Oh no! Oh, didn't come out too great. It looked like it melted. Ooh, so definitely can't do the back because I just feel like it'll melt on. See, whatever this part is, you guys see that? So the back definitely either cut off the exact size or, you know, disregard the back. <laughs> All right, so that didn't work. So let's try the front. Hopefully it will be a better outcome. Put this here so that it melt. All right, we're gonna try the front side. Again, we're gonna tape it to the parchment. I don't think this is my favorite thing to sell me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. So, let's see. All right. seconds and fingers crossed again right, I'm gonna lift it up because I feel like 60 seconds is a, too long of a time I want to see oh this is oh my, oh my goodness yeah yeah this is just not it just melted everything look at that that looks ridiculous okay so let me go back to the drawing board <laughs> it melted my whole thing fyi i didn't get these off amazon i got these off timu i forgot i got the nameplates and the uh pouches from timu so maybe we'll do less time make this a little bit bigger and try it again but so far, this is a fail, a total epic fail. <laughs> I'll be back, y'all. All right, you guys, so yeah, I think 60 seconds is too long, so we're going to try a bigger image so it's full coverage. And we're gonna try it for, I'm gonna do 45 seconds. And the thing is, <laughs> I got these off Timu and there's no real instructions. Even me searching on YouTube, I don't see anybody really uh, that have done this yet so I guess I'm gonna be the first one to help y'all out <laughs> with it so that's cool I mean so we got this image it's a little bit bigger I'm going to cut and just do the front side of the pouch and give it a try because this is the old one it looks big enough but it's not so and then this is the new one I printed just to have just the full coverage so let's give it a try and we're gonna do this all with no tape, y'all. We're just gonna place it on there, press it down. I'm gonna put the time down to about 45 seconds. I even think that's too long. You know, let's do 30 seconds. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna put the temp down some as well. To like 375. And we'll see how that goes. Sorry, y'all. That was a that was a horrible epic fail. Like, but I mean, I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys all of it, right? We all, you know, it's not perfect all the time. I mean, they they had potential, but I had to melt it. So I'm not doing the back because I feel like this part uh, gets too hot. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes with the new time and temperature. Timu did not have instructions on this, so. Hey, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Put the temp down to 355, y'all. Cause I, I think it's it's small. It looks it seems like it's thin material, so you don't need that much heat. And I 
feel like you don't need that much time as well. So once, once, if this is perfect, I will leave the correct time and temp you need to perfectly make this uh, pouch. We're gonna try 355 for 30 seconds. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we did, y'all. Ooh, almost got it. It's a little ghosting, so. Oh my goodness. It's a little ghosting at the bottom, so I need a little bit more pressure. That's okay. I have uh, two more tries. I got two more pouches left, so. That looks a lot better. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pressure. And yeah, I'm not gonna throw this away because I can still use it. <laughs> so let's try 45 seconds and a little bit more pressure. I think this is gonna come out perfect. Golly, almost had it. It, it looks, it still looks really nice. See the colors popping and everything. Just got that little bitty ghosting. But I'm not gonna throw this away. Mm -mm. You guys ready? Let's see. Oh, oh. Boom, yup. We did it. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you could do like a picture of your kids, you and your husband. This is perfect, I love it. Y'all think I should do the back? Should I do the back of this? Nah, right? <laughs> the front is so cute. I love it. So we're gonna try the butterfly one next. And I'm definitely going to order more off Timu or if I can find them on Amazon and just keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. How you guys think we did? We think we aced this one? See the butterflies coming through the paper? So we're gonna slowly lift it and see what we got. on it but like I can still I'll still rock it what you guys think I think that is beautiful I like it I like it it's gonna look cute on my Stanley for sure <laughs> all right y'all so next we're gonna move on to the nameplates okay you guys so when you get these sublimation ready items you want to make sure they don't have a film which they more than likely do have a film over it, so you want to just remove it. Sorry, I'm from out of frame. Let's see, take that off. And now you're ready to sublimate on it. So this, it's a white side on this side, which is where you want to sublimate on. Get all that plastic off. Side, and then there's a like clear side. I don't know if you guys can see that. White. This is the side you want to sublimate on. And then the clear. Alright, you guys, so the name templates are ready. It's so nice. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but you want to reverse these because we're gonna flip the white side and lining up 
with the holes and you know just line it up and we're gonna take these on the paper just grab your heat transfer tape tape it up as best you can these these were perfect perfect size All right, you guys, we are back. Uh, like I said, we're gonna try the 355 for the temperature and 45 seconds for the time. Put a little bit more pressure because it's a little flat. And here we go. Oops, that needs a lot more pressure. There we go. All right, fingers crossed again. <laughs> All right, we are ready. See how we did. We'll go ahead and flip this over. Ooh, that looks good already. Looks way better than the, the, the Stanley pouches. Can you guys see that? All right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna grab my weeding tool to help me get these up. Here's another fail. So these you're not supposed to mirror. I don't know if you guys can see. So this is the side you're supposed to sublimate on, but when you turn it around, it's super clear. But you see how it's backwards? So we have to not flip these. <laughs> we're learning, y'all. I told y'all we're learning. So I'm going to attempt to print these again and do it the right way, because this looks too good. Man, I'm hitting y'all with double fails today. What's going on? All right, you guys, we are back. So I got it not flipped. Got the tags taped onto the paper. So I increased my time to 55 seconds. It's still at 355, so I'm gonna try this again. See how we looking. Let's see how we looking. these over oh that looks that looks good already as you guys can see with it not flip you can see it on a clear side right side up all right guys look at that so one tip I suggest when you get these templates off of Etsy go ahead and just make them a tad bit bigger because they make it like to exact size but luckily, like it looks good for my nameplate. I kind of like that um, accent around, like it's a border. But um, yeah, as you can see, design for our knees, the butterfly one, that looks so cute. The comic one, that looks really good. Design for our knees, and these are really hot, y'all. <laughs> that looks so good. And the plaid one really good so it did help to not um, flip it this time because it shows so vibrant on the other side so yeah let's go ahead and wrap this up and yeah catch you guys in a second mm -hmm. 